Leo coming to you again with another beat remake and in this beat remake we're going to cover uh, DJ Quick's Safe and Sound. A little bit of West Coast flavor for your ear. I've been seeing a lot of DJ Quick requests over the comments and I figured it's about time to maybe touch on one of his songs as well. Uh, before I get started I want to make sure you guys know that I have a chord sample library. If you don't know how to play chords, I got a chord sample library that you can plug right into machine. You can play the chords by the pads. Make sure you check that out and if you're into making your own stuff as well, I also have a, a patch library for Native Instruments Massive. The VST plugin or the Audio Units plugin, there's over 65, probably about 70 sounds now, probably more than that, of uh, patches and sounds that I designed myself that I use in my own music production that may be a good fit for you. So make sure you check that out. Alright, so we're going to dive right in. We're going to start with the Rose Piano and I'm also going to try and show you what's going on on the screen to uh, better highlight the, the notes that I play. So let's go ahead and go straight to the screen and show what we got, alright? So, uh, so we're going to start with that chord right there. We've got a clear, pan I got a clear pattern right there and uh, we're going to do two bars of a pattern right there. As you can see, I have the, uh, the Korg M1 plugin right there ready to run and uh, we're going to start off with two chords. So we're going to, it's in the key of G. And then hope you can see that uh, keyboard right there. So we're going to start off with the first chord right here. With a F, A, B flat. Actually, that's a B. No, that's an A. So F, A, B flat. And a D. Then we're going to move it up to uh, F sharp. A C and an E flat. So we're just going to move back between those two right there. So let's go ahead and let's knock that out. We'll try that again. Uh, Got to make sure that you don't press the same chords over again or you'll write your MIDI. As we're making this video, I just want to make sure that you guys know that uh, we're working at a BPM of 95 beats per minute and also that we're working in the key of G. So let's go to the drums. Now the drums are one of my favorite parts in ever making a sound or making a drum beat. So we're going to start off with that and um, we're going to take the samples from uh, Strawberry Letter and we're just going to rock on the snare. So here's a picture of that snare or here's a picture of that sample right here on the screen and we're just going to Listen to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with that sa that sample right there, and we're already in the right key. And um, basically, the original sample was a little bit slower than what the tempo was set to here. So I basically just just built the perfect loop, and I may do a video showing how to kind of grab perfect loops. Uh, on the sheen, depending on the sample. It's a lot more complicated than just picking where you want to go. So we're going to program that in, that in right there and uh, we're going to make sure that there's no um, there's no swing applied yet. We're going to apply that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down the sample like this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add um, some hi-hats, I'm going to play them live and I'm going to add swing to them. And also we're going to got a kick drum and we've got some snare we're going to have to play. So it's kind of mixed together. And uh, let's go ahead and program that in. And then what we're going to do now is add some hi-hats and I'm going to make sure the pads are set to where I can kind of do a little bit of velocity switching. And I got a closed, cat, a closed hat and an open hi-hat. And we're just going to play along and kind of do like what a real drummer would do with that. Now 
Now if you pay attention that the hi-hats are kind of more or less perfectly on 16th notes. So this is where we're going to apply some swing. So I'm going to apply some swing to the group and we're going to take it up to about 60% swing. And now let's hear what the hi-hat does with the kick drum. It should feel more at home with the sample because the, the sample has more of a kind of feel to it, not just straight robotic feel to it. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what we got. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add the bass line, and the bass line is basically a Trillion plug-in right there, which is what I like to use for more of the live bass sound. And that's how we're doing. And uh, basically, let me call out the notes right there. That's a G, going to the F, and then we're going to do a high B flat. And then a C, D, E flat. G, F, B flat. C, D, E flat. G, F. And we're going to do the same thing where we like to keep the swing off of it so you can kind of hear the difference of how it's put together. So I'm going to try to play it again. And now I also have to make sure that I have a good length of the pattern. All right, let's do it. to the kind of player first. it right there it's a pretty straightforward groove um, there are some different Edo sequences that are different from the original once again this is more of an approximation and not an exact duplicate of the original track but this is just another video to kind of really break down as an exercise for me to just kind of make tracks and, and kind of vlog as I get ready to start doing original stuff um, that we try to kind of figure out the magic or kind of figure out the thought process and things like that that go behind the scenes so that's basically it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you guys so much for the comments. I really appreciate that. And uh, make sure that you subscribe to this video and also like this video and share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it wherever you like to let other people check out the videos that you like. It'll really help me out. It'll help me grow the channel and help me to further pursue my careers and goals as trying to be a full-time artist and music producer and hopefully finally one day get that second major, major placement. Um, once again, thank you again so much. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let it play so you can hear it full on. And uh, I'll see you guys later. And oh, by the way, the next video I'm going to do is the Michael Jackson scream song. Um, still leave your comments for this a little bit because I kind of kind of mentally average out what people are looking for. I feel that it's a good idea to maybe do one of his again. And a lot of people like them. All right, so I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. Check it out. <laughs>